War Thunder fans, welcome to the Sunday morning, May 11th episode of Richard Victory's Bomber Command. I'm Richard Victory, and I'm here to talk about bomber operations in Gaijin Entertainment's War Thunder MMO. This is a patch 1.39.29.43 replay. The match took place yesterday during the Golden Eagles weekend. I'm flying a JU-88, only about one-third unlocked, mostly a stock plane. Uh, this is the Cherupin map, flying realistic battles. Compared to my number one crew, this one isn't nearly as deadly. Uh, Golden Eagles have only been spent to pick up a full set of gunners. Um, the previous aircraft had five, so a lot of points went into that. So crew level's about 650, but it's mostly extra gunners. Uh, I've only been flying German aircraft now for on and off for less than two months, and most of that's actually been fighter time, learning boom and zoom and BF-109s. As usual with realistic battles, I'll be skipping ahead from time to time over the, quote, just flying there and back again parts. It's a damn pretty game. That's not that exciting for you folks to watch. I've had some great games that were losing battles. I mean, when you just knew you weren't going to win. Uh, where the other red team was incredibly sporting about the whole thing. After all, most people in realistic battles are there for the tighter community and the improved experience that you get from it. This, however, is not one of those matches. Some folks are just so determined to shoot you in the face, they'll bounce the shot off their own ankle bone to make sure they get you. I'm not flying in a squad today, so the first thing I do is look around, find another player in a similar aircraft, and team chat him or her to let him know that uh, I'm following their lead. As I say, if you don't have your own wingman, be somebody else's. Safety in numbers. So here we're hitting a line of armor advancing on our objectives. But with a bit of luck, I nailed the first strike of the game, killing a medium tank with a 100 kilo bomb strike. Now, right afterwards I see a wall of red heading our way, just nothing but enemy fighters. I'm out of bombs, so I message my, uh, my wingman and say that I'm RTB. Null 23888, my wingman of the mission, goes on to uh, deliver a fantastic pounding on the Russian artillery which uh, puts us a whole way ahead of our tickets. see here I'm kind of flying up and down a little bit. I always fly a wave pattern when moving through areas where I'm taking flak fire. I pull up for a bit, then I nose down, constantly varying my altitude by about 500 feet off of what it is I want to fly. It makes it a whole lot harder for both player AAA as well as AI AAA to knock you down. Uh, with the advent of uh, flak panzers and the like now in the game, uh, if you're playing the CBT for uh, ground forces, you have to be aware that there may be a player lining you up on the ground. And suddenly, what was looking like a pretty good match starts to go horribly wrong. Null 23888 in one of our other JU-88s goes down unexpectedly, and then one of our BF-109s is shot down by EAC-7. This map relies on Germany killing hard ground targets to win. If all three German bombers, including myself, go down, then the only way the German team can win is by complete air victory. That's not as easy as it sounds.
and then the star of the Russian team goes to work. Shout out to Brute Cloud Lee in the premium P40E, what a great game at Germany's expense in this match. The Butcher of Cherupin book bags his first uh, target as an MC202 that was lawn mowing, and then he starts hunting down anything that gets in front of him. So at this point, just as I'm lining up for my landing to rearm and refuel, the Russian team massacres my side. We've lost our second Ju-88, leaving me the only bomber. By the time I get back in the air, I'm the only German player left. Not good. The Ju-88 is an awkward plane to land. I still don't really have the hang of it. It stalls at around 230 kph when empty, but it really bleeds altitude easily, I find, which makes approach tricky. On top of that, the landing trike is very tall. It feels like you're trying to land a plane on stilts. It also means that the gear seems prone to folding up if your airspeed isn't just below stall speed, and your rate of descent isn't somewhere right around fluttering leaf. So now I have some thinking to do. As I like to say, realistic battles are kind of like chess matches with high explosives. All that the Russian team knows is that there's one Ju-88 in the air somewhere. They also know that the ticket timer is not currently in their favor. Our bombers defanged the initial ground assault, so we've kept control of the A point, meaning that they've bled tickets this entire time. On the other hand, all I know is that they've only lost two or three of ten enemy aircraft. A Ju-88 is unlikely to defeat seven enemy fighters. One of them is an IL-2 Sturmovik, which is a nightmare at any altitude I'd want to operate at. However, after a look at the map, I realize there are only two Russian AI tanks that are a problem. If I can destroy those two tanks, then the Russian team can't win unless they hunt me down. All that means is they have to play the terrain and operate near, fl near friendly flak until the five or so minutes for the ticket counter to bleed out on them. So I can still win this. It's unlikely, but it can be done. So there's some good news for me at this point, which is that the IL-2 crashes during a, strafe, during a strafing run. So a shout out to Surefires here. He was having a tremendous game at this point with a total of two 12 ground kills. If he'd kept on this run, he might well have won the game for the enemy team uh, by ticket kills all by himself. However, from my point of view, that's a lot less low-level, low-speed, tank-killing firepower that might get aimed at me. And then one of the Russian AI fighters spots me. Which means that now the entire Russian team has seen my little red dot on their radars. I've got to get to those tanks when I'm done. So I tweak my angle of approach a bit and let my tail gunners work on the fighter. 
Thankfully, the RNG is with me, and almost immediately, my tail gunner puts a burst of armor-piercing incendiary into his engine block. The fighter is down, and the Russian team can't see me anymore. Just when I start to think I might get away with this, I realize I'm flying right at the entire Russian team, who are currently about 5 kilometers past where the two tanks I need to hit are. They're chasing an objective BF-110AI. He's worth some tickets, and since they don't yet see me, he's a smart target. Which means, of course, that as soon as I drop my bombs, they will be seeing me on the edge of their radars. The math is simple. I cannot outrun Yak-7s, MiG-3s, and especially not a, key, a Curtis P-40 Warhawk flying a JU-88 that has stock engines. If I fly away from them, they'll just run me down and rip my tail off. So, instead, I'm going to steer to attack the first plane to look at me, hoping my nose gun gets some good hits in, and the pair of tail guns finishes them off. Since no plan of battle survives contact with the enemy, that's as far as I'm going to worry about it. We'll play it by moment by moment as it unfolds. So I've got 20 100 kilogram bombs, and I'm crossing perpendicular to the line of advance of the two tanks. I need to kill at least one, preferably both, right now. The enemy fighters are now at 4 kilometers in closing. Bombs away, and I completely miss. I uh, just a bit too much lead on the run, and the bombs went off just ahead of the tanks. With the artificially reduced blast radius that Gaijin uses, no good. So now the only way I can win this is this match uh, is to shoot down four enemy fighters by myself in a JU-88. Let's get to it, shall we? Splash one premium P-40E. Turns out it was a trap. There were two of them all along. And here another Russian fighter crashes. So I've got two of three remaining enemy fighters engaged with me right now, and one of my gunners is unconscious. I'm pulling hard Gs for a JU-88, trying to cut off the other two fighters' turns so they never get clean shots at me, and hopefully my gunners make some hits en passant. Right here, with this shot, Bolin in his premium P-39K wins the game for the Russian team by blowing my port aileron off. He shot off my starboard engine and KO'd my gunner. At this point, all I can do is fly a downward left-hand spiral and hopefully get a soft landing controlled crash out of it. Great, great flying and good kill, Bolin. It's a pity that this idiot had the wrong view of the kill with a ram. F-A-C-H, Askillard, you just played the incompetent card. You're in a Yak-7 diving on a doomed bomber that a P-39 Aerocobra has been working over, and all you can think of is, He's so scary! Derp! Ram! Yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. Really. So, that match was a loss. Um, but even so, still a pretty good game. Uh, first place on the team. Uh, two air kills. Uh, one surface unit destroyed. Uh, two crits. Twelve hits. Um, final blow, not bad. Award, Mission Maker, for striking first and final blow. Uh, Terror of the Sky. And anti mac So, yeah. With, uh, 29,775, uh, Lions, and, uh, first place on the team. Um, shoutouts, as before, to, uh, Cloud Lee, Surefires, and Bolin. You guys did great. Thanks very much.